we need to write the numbers below in words. So here we have six digit numbers. And when we have numbers shown in digits, there will usually either be a comma or a space between the thousands digit and the hundreds digit. And that helps us to write the number in words. Because all we need to do is write the number that we see before the comma, then write the word thousand, then write the number that we have after the comma. So here we have 384 and then a comma. So we can write 384,000. Then we just read the rest of our number and we have 384. So this number is 384,384. Now here again we just read the number up to the comma and we have 592. So that's 592,000. Then after the comma, here we have three zeros, so zeros in our hundreds, tens and ones. And that means that we don't need to write anything after the word thousand. So our number is just 592,000. Here again we can read the number up to the comma and we have 400, so that's 400,000. Then we read the number after the comma. We have 040. Zero, zero. Because we have a zero in our hundreds, we just have 40. So we can write and 40. Now notice here, when we were writing the number in words, we didn't have a comma after the word thousand. And that's because we have zero in our hundreds. Now when numbers are written in digits, there will usually be a comma between the thousands and the hundreds, even if we have zeros. But when numbers are written in words, rather than the comma, we can just write and, and then the rest of the number. So here we have 480, and then a comma, so that's 480,000. Then after the comma, we have 500. So our number is 480,500. 